So, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you for asking me. Um, so, I need to show you how to make graphs. Because we want to do some things that, uh, that need a graph. Um, so we've looked at this a little bit, but let's go over everything you need to know and more and less about graphs. So let me just start with something that we would want to graph. Um, how about just a function? Okay, so let's just say, let's say I'm going to, I'm going to write it here. I say y equals uh, 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. I just picked some function. Okay, so how would I even graph this? So the first thing I need to do is to pick my x. I need to get some data, right? Because this is a numerical thing. So I need to get some data. Let's go from x equals uh, 0 to 4. I don't even know if this is going to work. So I'm going to say x equals 0. And now what I'm going to do is calculate y. And then I'm going to increase x. And then I'm going to calculate y. I'm going to increase x and so forth like that. So the first, let's just say dx is 0 0.1. Let's say 0 0.5 right now. So what I'm going to do is say while x is less than 4, I want to calculate y, y equals 2 times x star star 2 is squared minus 3 times x plus 4. And then I need to uh, calculate the new x. Actually, let's print this. Let's print x, y, and then x equals x plus dx. So I'm going to update x. So that's all I'm going to have. I'm just going to print it out. Let's just see what happens. So there you go. So there's my x value. Those, those are my x and y values. I think that's good enough. Okay. So now instead of plotting it, let's, pr let's instead of printing, let's plot. So I'm gonna make a smaller time interval. I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't want to do that, and I want to I want to graph it. So the, this is the easiest graph that you can make. F1 equals g curve. G curve is a built-in function in Python, in GlowScript Python, that makes a series of dots connected by points. Ah, uh, wait, whoa, whoa. A series of points connected by lines. So to make this, I accidentally turned on my phone. Uh, so all in order to add one data point, I just need to say f1.plot, what's the x value, which is going to be x, and what's the y value, y. So this f1, it could be anything. I call it I just got in the habit of calling it F1 for function 1 and F1 function 2 is F2, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. Look at that. I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, let's make this minus 4. I want a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, so there you can see my plot. And it gives me my axis labels right here. It gives me a uh, thing right here that I can look at the values. Everything is great. Okay, let's do the next thing. Let's make it a different color because color is cool. So let's say color equals color dot blue. And so what that does is by putting in this parameter color equals color dot blue, it'll change the color of that line. Check that out. Okay. What else can we do? If I wanted to make this as a graph to turn in a live report, this would not fly because I don't have labels or anything like that here. So if I want to do that, I need to add another object called a graph. So it needs a name. So I'm going to call it temp graph or graph or whatever you want to call it. It's a type of object graph. Now let's just do that and run it. So nothing happened. But up here I can add things like x title is a built-in function. x title is x in x units. Now I'm going to run it. Check that out. And so I can write whatever I want and quote it there, and it'll put it down there for the for the thing. Um, now I can do the same thing for y title. Y title equals um, y. That's called meters. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Check that out. Oh, we need a title for the graph, right? Let's do a title. Okay. So let's say uh, title equals this is my graph. Check that out. I mean, come on. That's just that's just nice. You can see the whole thing. Check it. Cool, huh? Wait, it gets even better. Watch this. If I add the option fast equals false, then this will use Plotly to make the graph. Plotly is an online uh, thing that's pretty awesome. So you notice the graph looks a little bit different, but also up here I have a whole bunch of other features. 
Okay, so I can actually uh, move this. I can rescale. Uh, I can open this in Plotly if you wanted to. Uh, I could go back to the original scale. I can do a whole bunch of things. I don't even know what that does. Uh, I can save it in, I can save it as a picture, and I can open it in Plotly. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to log in. But that gives you a whole bunch, then you can go in Plotly, you can turn off the axis, you can change the color, you can change the size, you can change everything that you would want and make it as beautiful as you could possibly want. Okay, but let's just put this for, so fast, it, it supposedly takes longer to plot. That's why it's called fast equals false. If I put this back at fast equals true, I get the fast graph which I think is beautiful too. Okay. So what about this? F2 equals G curve. Color equals color dot red. So now I have two plots and let's do, um, let's do this. Y2 equals uh, two times X cubed minus 3 times x plus 2. Ah, it's making up stuff. So now I need to plot that data point too. F2.plot xy2. So now I'm going to have two graphs over here. Check that out. You like that? Okay. Um, one more thing that I sometimes use in graphs, and then I think you'll be a graph of graph spurt, which is an expert in graphs, a graph spurt, graph, graph expert. Uh, and that is up here. I'm going to call this, I'm going to go up here to F1 and say label equals uh, function 1. And then down here I'm going to say label equals function 2. And I, those are just the names. And now I run it. Look at that out. That's kind of cool, right? Come on. Now if I open that in um, Plotly, you can actually move that thing around and stuff, but I think we're pretty good. Now, you can make multiple graphs, uh, but I think right now let's just stick with one graph with multiple things. You could put three functions on here. You can plot as many things as you want. Now, it's just a plot, okay? If I plot F1 is position versus time and F2 is velocity versus time, it don't care. It's just going to plot the numbers, right? It doesn't make sense, but it'll do it. It does whatever you ask. Okay, I'll save this and include this in the link below. Uh, everyone else says that. I don't know what that means. I'll include this in the description, um, and then we're going to use this to do some awesome stuff. The end.